Okay, lesson number five. Um, for this one, we're going to learn how to take words and stuff like that and combine them with other things. Uh, so we're going to learn how to do words and texts and do contours on them and stuff like that. So today we're going to see if we can add other things to them. Um, so demo, and this will be uh, five, and uh, RGB, 32 by 18, so it's for the laser cutter. And what I'm talking about is something like this happy birthday and then a stick to jab into let's say a cake for something this big would probably be a cake but you can make maybe even smaller ones for like a cupcake uh look at this one that says happy 15th birthday for a cake and i think we have another one here somewhere bride to be this one's got a heart included so this is the word bride to be and a heart and a stick so how do you get that uh, together well it's not too hard uh, so what we're going to do is let's do a happy birthday one. So let's click the text and click here. And the secret is usually, unless you have a reason to, try to keep the words separately. It allows you to move them around. So make sure you highlight it. And cursive fonts are much easier to do because they're already connecting. And then I'll make this bigger. I guess it doesn't really matter, actually, because I can just stretch it to whatever size I want. And then I'm going to do separately. And by the way, you could just copy and paste this if you wanted to. Careful when you do that, it's actually on top of it, so move it. Don't be careful, because sometimes students will be like, I don't know where it is, and they do it again and again, and there'll be five copies. And the laser will actually follow it five times and really burn it up really bad. So I don't know how it knows, but it knows there's like five layers there. Uh, I just did that so I don't have to change the font. Birthday, here we go. And we're going to do happy birthday, and we'll do it something like this, and then we'll put a stick right here, okay? So we'll do happy birthday and a stick like that. So first thing we need to do is let's get these converted to curves, okay? So notice I, I can't do anything here, so I'm going to do object, convert to curves right here. And then I'm going to do this one and say object, convert to curves. I think uh, you could have just highlighted both and done it, but at the same time, but that doesn't hurt. I'm gonna do my usual, which is in the bucket, I said don't fill it, the line. I'm gonna say hairline and make sure they're red, just so that it's already in red when I do this uh, later on. I don't have to change it. Um, once again, hairline, it doesn't matter which order you do it in. On this one, I'm doing the line first, and you can see it turned them red, and then I'm gonna to go to the bucket and say don't fill it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, delete all these things. So let's go ahead and do that. Delete. And delete that. Oops. Control C. Go ahead and delete that. Delete that. See if there's any up here. No, we're good. And let's delete that. Delete this one. And go ahead and do that okay now I've deleted them all um, and the problem right now is is that the way it is this H is not connected it will just fall off and it will not be part of the sign sometimes you can kind of play with this a little bit and get it to touch for example uh, this P is touching the P and that's touching that and the H is over here by itself that will fall off so I want to move this H but I can't because it's connected to the APPY. So I can't just move the H by itself, but you can click it like that, like I selected it, right click, break curve apart. So now it's in pieces. Now, so click away out here, then click back on something you want. There we go. The rest, of, oh, even that's separate. Now I'm gonna control Z and what was that? see oh that's the inside of the H so we'll s so even that is broken apart so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this whole thing and move that we'll worry about that in a second this do you notice that this broke apart I don't want that so uh, we can just leave that alone for now and this right here I do not want it to break apart either so um, now I can actually just highlight it all and we could try to figure out how we want it to look and how we want it to touch. Whatever you think looks best. 
And remember, you can use the arrows to kind of play with it a little bit. Uh, we can just connect it like that. We can connect it both two spots right there. It'll be stronger if we do it in two. And once we're happy with that, we can click the arrow. We can delete that up a little bit. There we go. And remember, it's all broken apart. So we can go like this. And we can do that join curves. If you don't remember where that is, go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. And you got the check mark. So go to Join Curves and click Apply. And it should be on one thing now. Let's see what happens. Nope, it's still separate because I have to go like this and say Combine it again. There we go. And now it should be all together. And you can click Apply. Now it should be good to go. All right. Now, I have the Happy. I need to do the same thing here. So let's go right click. Right click on it. Break curve apart is not here, right? Or I could say ungroup all too. So you can say ungroup all. That should also do the same thing. Mm, nope, for some reason it just did the one Y. So I'm going to put that back. Let's highlight it again. I think you have to right click on the line. Nope, let's see. For some reason this does not want to break curve apart. There we go. I have no idea why it does that sometimes, but I had to really zoom in and I clicked right clicked right on the line, break curve apart. And then now the B is separate. In fact, everything's separate. Even this circle in the middle is separate. You see that? It's really separated. So don't forget to highlight it all like that. So you select the whole thing. And we got to figure out where we're going to touch it. For now, I think I only have that. That's really weak. It's only touching there, but that's okay. Um, maybe the H, this thing right here, can possibly help connect a couple of things together. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Maybe we can get the this to connect and that connects. So now the B's connected here. And actually the Y is not connected. There we go. I'm just playing with it. Now this I will fall off. You gotta really look at everything, okay? Look at this A is not connected. We gotta fix that too. What do you do with eyes? Well, you can sometimes connect them up here if you like that and see what that looks like. And I've also seen people connect them right here if you like that. So whatever one you think is better. Uh, if you have something close up here, I actually tend to prefer that. And then I just go to the delete tool and I'll just kind of delete that so it's stuck together. But it's your choice on how you want to do it. Go ahead and delete this to combine that together now. Uh, this is connected. We're good. This is connected, but that is not connected. That's just the way this font is. So notice notice that only the A is covered. So I'm going to... So when I click this, only the A gets selected. So I'm going to take both. And let's see how close we can get that. Sometimes it does look ugly. It depends on the font. It starts to look a little weird. So you can decide how you want to do this. Um, I'm going to just try to make it look even and it is kind of what it is. If you wanted, if you were serious about this and you were worried about it, you can always, uh, choose a different font that might look a little bit better. Um, so now I'm all interconnected. I forgot to connect this. Double check all your connections. Make sure there's no overlaps anywhere. We're all good here. We're good. This actually takes some practice to really look at it and double check that everything's connected and everything looks good here. Okay. So now we need a stick and for a stick, I can literally just use a rectangle or anything and just do it nice and thin. Um, by the way, before you even do the stick though, I would probably just double check you have your size right. So this is five inches. If this was a cake, you could just get a ruler out and see what you like. Uh, let's say you want this really big, uh, eight inches and that's pretty good size. And now I'm going to put a stick that I can jab into the cake. And I'll probably just uh, tend to use the low points like this would be better, but it's off to the side. So um, I'll just choose this and you can always do this right off the bottom tip right here like that. Just be careful because it will be fragile. Um, and then uh, go ahead and just uh, go to properties, go to the line, hairline, make sure it's red. There we go. Get that delete tool right here, this red one right here that we've been using a lot of. 
and just kind of connect it and that's it if you want it sharp you could take two lines if you're really worried about it although it's still going to jab into a cake cakes are not that you know hard so but you can always just do something like this and then highlight those and go to uh, make sure they're hairline in red as well like everything else and that should do it that would give you a cake topper and uh, you would just want to right click like that and put uh, combine possibly so it, now you can just move it as one thing and I always do one double check you should always double check that everything is good everything is connected nothing's getting cut off that you don't want cut off we have that triangle in here still cut out and everything looks good and it's all one piece and that's it all right so that's pretty much all you would have to do of course you could always add other shapes uh, like for example if you wanted to uh, do uh, stars in it you want to add stars you can always just add stars to it or hearts and and to be honest a lot of people like doing this because it helps it makes makes it stronger sometimes for example I can make this a little bit bigger and I can connect this B here here and there and it makes this whole this H is not hanging off of here anymore so a lot of reasons a lot of people do that um, now if you need to select all three of these at once and change it here let's say you have 10 things guess what you can do you can go to objects if you can't find that go to objects and make sure your objects is here and this lists all your objects you might have to open this layer by clicking this triangle and you'll see all the objects here if you hold control down you can select whatever ones you want and it'll select all of them then you can go to properties and change all of them at once by going 255 for the red and make sure the line is hairline go to the delete tool oops be careful with these delete 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 and like I said if you're using these shapes it's actually a good idea to to uh, use them to strengthen these uh, these particular projects you know like I said it makes them stronger by connecting stuff together like you can put one here if you wanted to or something like that the, me putting one here is not a great idea because it's just up here by itself but it's not gonna hurt anything I would delete that off I don't think anybody's gonna notice that that's not there and there you go and now you got stars on here and you can paint this whole thing you can add glitter to it uh, whatever you needed to do to make a really cool birthday gift for your friend uh, to stick in a, into a cake um, and that's pretty much it like I said you can pretty much add you can you can do the uh, thing where you say import and import a picture of a heart and have it auto trace out using the trace bitmap that we learned a few uh, lessons ago or whatever you wanted and connect it in with words it doesn't really matter uh, you can probably see how I would have done this right here uh, just use the word bride word two to be those are just different fonts touch them up here connect stuff delete stuff add a picture of a heart have it connected delete all the little pieces in between and now you have this and you can use this some spray I think we have some spray sparkle gold sometimes we have that although uh, it does get clogged a lot so that'll be it just go ahead and create anything you want here and submit that as long as it's got multiple words and some shapes and a stick we're good to go and make sure that you have it zoomed in as far as possible something like that when you submit it 